What does natural nutrition mean? What should the natural living conditions be like? What is in the natural conditions of human life and what is not? Can we think for two seconds? What do we mean by this natural? We live in Istanbul or live in big cities. Are we living in a natural environment? Are we consuming natural foods? For example, is bread a natural food? Or do dairy products, which are said to be very healthy, contribute to natural nutrition? For example, can we find milk in nature? Can we call the market in nature and ask him to bring bread or anything? What do we mean by nature? How natural are we living in? Let me give you some information about nature if you want. Let's think about the living conditions of people in ancient history, 10,000 and 15,000 years ago. Let's go to the primitive tribes of Africa before they settle down. Let's see how they live. I'm talking about the most primitive ones, the people who hunt and gather purely, where civilization hasn't quite reached yet, only to be reached for the purpose of documentary filming. How do they live? For example, do they have clothes on? No, those people don't need to use vitamin D capsules because they don't have clothes on, and they're under the sun all day, but also because they live in the equatorial region, they always receive the sun's rays at a right angle, their bodies can produce the best vitamin D. Well what else? Watch out for those people, they're very weak. When we look at the amount of protein they take daily, the amount of plant food they take daily, when we look at their physical activity levels, when we look at their communication with the soil and animals, when we look at their communication with nature, which of us do you think is healthier? Are they? Us? I say that as people with advanced civilization. Are we more advanced? Or are they in a natural and healthy state? This should be asked first. Need to have a look at this. What do we mean by natural? Ladder, I think we realize that we do not live in a natural environment. So, can we do a natural diet? There is no possibility. There is no possibility of natural feeding. Real human nutrition is the nutrition of those people. We are not likely to eat that way today. But it's not just about nutrition. Factors beyond nutrition, sun factor, physical activity factor, socializing factor in the evening, for example. What are the stress factors of those people? The stress required for prey, most protected against a predator. This much. Maybe there is some cold heat stress. Are we experiencing too much stress today? Such as traffic stress, boss stress, economic stress, weather stress, blah stress. What is there in our life more than stress? We can't even socialize. Therefore, if we were living in a natural environment, our doctor and dietitian friends who said this might be right that there is no need for food supplements. I don't think we live in the natural environment today. I think we should agree here in the first place. Let's get to the nutrition part. If we were living in the natural environment and feeding on the nutrients there, I would argue that there is no need for any nutritional supplements. But today, in any metropolis, among so many chemicals, in such unnatural living conditions, among the factors that warn us at night, such as light, television or mobile phone, and disrupt the melatonin cycle, in our environment where we cannot socialize, where we cannot make enough skin contact, we are surrounded by bad and medicated foods. It is very repulsive to me to say that there is no need for nutritional supplements in these living conditions where we are fed and even fill our bodies with empty energy sources by eating grains. Today, the nutritional status of those people is analyzed in order to determine the vitamin and mineral adequacy of a person or a society. And they make this very clear in studies that analyze those nutritional statuses. These are studies with low validity and reliability, because these are purely subjective data. Even in them, vitamin A, vitamin C, some B vitamins are insufficient. When you look at the blood panel of many people today, you can see that many vitamins or minerals are deficient. If we are talking about a chronic disease, or if we are talking about a chronic condition, for example, if we are talking about a headache, if we are talking about getting tired early in the evening, the need to be dazzled, or if we are talking about tinnitus, itching in the ears, or itchy skin, whatever you can think of, any condition that is chronic but not normal. There must be a relationship with at least one nutrient somewhere. Therefore, we often see the lack of them. I wish those who say we don't need to use nutritional supplements are right, but I'm wrong. But we see this in the clinic, we examine the studies, and we witness that certain vitamin and mineral deficiencies are very high in the society, so I wish they were right. Basically, omega-3 and vitamin D are supplements that everyone should take. For all these reasons, the use of nutritional supplements is essential for a healthy life.